Sometimes when I read the press release coming out of uh, BMW Oracle team, it seems that I'm, 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 I'm reading the trailer of a Hollywood movie. Um, I mean, uh, it, yesterday night, I, my kids were, I, I, I missed them. They were dressing up for Halloween. So I guess it's in, it's in fashion these days to, uh, to come out with our stories. But frankly, I mean, do they really think that we are children, that, that we don't know that 40% of the uh, world oil traffic goes through the Strait of uh, Hormuz, and 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 the and and if there are probably more oil coming out, there is must be a lot of goods coming in for this region to be the fastest growing region in the world over the last 10 years. I mean, if if the if the Strait of Hormuz was had any security issue, we would know about it because. If 40% if of the world oil supply was threatened by any security issue, we would know about it. I can tell you that every time we would go to the, to the gas station, we wouldn't be paying the price we pay today. So come on, let's get real and let's go sailing. Let's, let's stop inventing stuff uh, just for the sake of it. I remind you that one of the seven motion was about the date. We didn't pick the date. They picked February. I mean, we actually, we wanted May. We wanted slightly more time. And they actually argued they absolutely wanted February. So they should be ready. You know, that's the, you know, they should, they have the time. They had, they have the time to, to, to make it. You know, and, I mean, I, I am not in charge of BMW Oracle, but um, there's plenty of time still left for them to, to put a boat on, on, a, on cargo and, and, and join us. There's no reason why they wouldn't be able to make it. And as uh, Mr. Dr. Massad said, um, the infrastructure be ready for them as it's been ready for us. When I, when I read the uh, deed of gift, it, it talks about sailing, and, and it talk, talks about a, a, a friendly competition between nations. Uh, I really hope that this legal dispute will not threaten what we're trying to do because it will definitely go against my vision for the America's Cup. I think the America's Cup is the pin pinnacle of sport. Um, the Société Nautique de Genève is the trustee of a charitable trust and my understanding is that the purpose of this trust is to promote sailing and to promote friendly competition between nations around the world. And we're best to promote sailing and friendly competition around the world and here. Uh, certainly, it would be great to sail in front of Newport or San Francisco or go back in Valencia, but that has been done. Um, I don't think we need to promote the sport of sailing in Newport. I don't think we need to promote the sport of sailing in San Francisco. I think that everyone recognized that uh, Val Valencia was a huge success and everybody now wants to go back to Valencia. Um, for, for sailing. And that's exactly what the America's Cup does to, uh, to a venue. I, I like to remind you, and I have here the, the media cuts uh, and, and declaration and statement made in, in 2003 when we chose Valencia. The, make, the same people which are criticizing Ras Alcamia today were criticizing Valencia then. And it's then those same people which are criticizing Ras Alcamia today want to go back to Valencia. I mean, I don't like to look backwards, you know? My eyes are in front of me. They are not in the back of my head. So I look forward. For me, bringing the America's Cup to Ras Al-Khaimah is looking forward. It's looking positively. It's looking about promoting the sport, promoting competition, um, and promoting friendship. And I really hope that um, um, the American team, um, when, when you look at what USA represents for, for, for everyone, I, 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 work, I, I worked and I studied, I lived for six years in America. For me, America promotes freedom and democracy. Um, I mean, it, the, the President of the United States received the Peace Nobel Prize. I think, I think it is what I understand. I mean, if, if we need to promote um, friendship and trust between nations, 
one can not only send aircrafts and soldiers, they've got to send sportsmen as well. And that's exactly what we're doing here. And that's why I really invite um, Larry Ellison and his team to join us and to promote the sport of sailing and to promote friendly competition within nation, to promote friendship and trust. We all have to go and meet Larry in San Francisco. You know, why is it that, you know, I've, I've, I've been there twice already. Why is it that Dr. Massad's got to go there? I mean, it seems that we all have to go to San Francisco. I think the, the issue is not about us going to San Francisco. I think the issue is about him coming to Ras Al Khaimah. And, 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 you know, the world doesn't start in New York and stop in San Francisco. You know, I think the world we all live in is a world that benefits from the security of this area so that when we go to the gas station, we pay a reasonable price for our gasoline, you know. The, the world is about, you know, country in development so that we can all export our technology and our goods, and that's why the APFL is opening a campus here in Ras Al Khaimah. That's the world I know. So, sure, you know, if I need to go a third, fourth time to see Larry Ellison in, in San Francisco, I'll go. But I don't think that's the issue. I think the issue is maybe Larry should come here and, and, and like you've made the effort, check for himself if the infrastructure are not what they should be. I think they are, because we're operating fine out of Russell Kema, and he should come in. And I hope he's going to sail on the RC-44 boat in November so he can experience from himself the great sailing condition that exists here. And he cannot know that this is a, an important uh, hub for the world in terms of business, travel, leisure, and transactions. I mean, his headquarters uh, for the Middle East are here. So I mean, let's, let's get real. Come on, let's go sailing. In two weeks, there's going to be the first Formula One Grand Prix in Abu Dhabi. Why do you think that's the case? And why do you think that Tiger would build his first golf course in, uh, in, uh, in uh, Dubai? Well, I'm going to tell you why. Because there's enough golf courses in California. There's enough golf courses in Florida. There's enough golf courses in Scotland. We don't need one more golf course uh, in Florida or in California or in Scotland. What, what we need is a golf course here. Because that's where the world is growing. That's where people travel to. That's, and, and, and where else than here with the condition that so many people recognize being fantastic? And one of the first ones to recognize that was Russell Coots. Why not develop sailing here? And the sport taking off, should it happen? Oh, but look at Valencia. I mean, Valencia was a huge success. Everybody now, you know, talks about Valencia as being a great venue. I remember because I was there standing, not here, but in a similar position and having to answer question with regard to choosing Valencia versus other venue. It was about not enough wind, like it's being said here. It was about the infrastructure not being right. It was about, there were all sort of reasons why things didn't work. I mean, the, the reality is that you got to look forward. You got to take the initiative. You got to have the trust in what you do and the vision to move forward. And that's what uh, we have done with uh, our yacht club and, and our team. And, and I truly believe that if we can organize a successful America's Cup here in the United Arab Emirates, this place will be uh, a, a fantastic venue for further and more sailing competition. You cannot develop the sport of any sports if you don't have the stadium, if you don't have the venue. We need more venues around the world for the sport of sailing that can host these kind of boats. I'm here, I'm gonna go sailing this afternoon, and uh, I'm looking forward to, uh, to a regatta. I really, really invite uh, Larry, Russell, Tom, the whole uh, BMW Oracle team to join us. I think, be, beside all the argument, I think everyone, everyone I know, 
those who have certain opinion and those who have different opinion. Everyone wants to see these two boats go against one another. Everyone wants to know if a cat is faster than a trimaran, if Swiss technology is better than US technology. I think we want to know too. Come on, let's go sailing. Let's find out. There's the infrastructure, there's the wind, there's the venue. We're here. Join us.